The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. In a groundbreaking moment that has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, the renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has unveiled the James Webb Telescope's long-awaited first real images from the mysterious and distant world of Pluto. With bated breath, humanity has always yearned for a glimpse into the enigmatic realm of this dwarf planet. And now, the veil has finally been lifted. The stunning images captured by the James Webb Telescope reveal an otherworldly landscape adorned with breathtaking ice formations and ethereal mountain ranges. But could there be more to these images than meets the eye? And what new secrets about this long-lost planet have scientists recently stumbled upon? Come along and discover the wonders of our solar system with the famous scientist Michio Kaku as he dives into details about these first breathtaking pictures of Pluto that the JWST has just sent back. Just five months ago, the James Webb Telescope achieved a groundbreaking milestone in the search for extraterrestrial life. The exoplanet, named LHS 475b, resides within its star's habitable zone, suggesting that the conditions in this distant world might be suitable for life to flourish. LHS 475b gracefully orbits a star resembling our very own Sun while boasting a size comparable to that of Earth. Situated approximately 40 light-years away from our home planet, it completes a full revolution in a mere two days. Now, what makes this revelation truly momentous is the sheer brilliance of the James Webb Telescope. With a single journey through the cosmos, this remarkable instrument confirmed the existence of LHS 475b. The telescope's ingenious method involves keenly observing a minuscule reduction in the star's brightness. This minute change indicates that a planet is gracefully passing in front of its luminous host. In the case of LHS 475b, the telescope shrewdly noticed the faintest flicker, confirming the presence of this distant world. The telescope is not content with just confirming the existence of exoplanets. It goes above and beyond, delving into the depths of these distant world's atmospheres and unraveling their secrets like an interstellar detective. As this remarkable telescope peered into the cosmos, it unveiled an astounding revelation about one particular exoplanet. The atmosphere of this celestial body is composed primarily of two elements, hydrogen and helium. These two light and ethereal elements dominate the gaseous envelope that surrounds this alien world. Neptune, the eighth planet from the Sun, has always fascinated scientists and stargazers alike. And while the recent buzz has been about the breathtaking images of Pluto, captured by this magnificent telescope. Let's not forget the iconic pictures it first took of Neptune. Neptune is famous for its beautiful deep blue color, which makes it stand out from other planets in our solar system. Its atmosphere is made up of different elements that create a unique and mysterious environment. Thanks to the JWT, we now have a chance to observe Neptune with amazing clarity. One of the most exciting discoveries made by the telescope is the new and improved pictures of Neptune's rings. These rings are made of ice and small rocks and have puzzled scientists for a long time. However, the advanced equipment of the telescope has helped us understand these mysterious rings better. The latest images show that Neptune's rings are not simple and still, but they form a complex and changing structure. The pictures reveal five parts within the rings each with interesting properties and movements. Some parts stay the same, while others change over time. Scientists have even found new features in the rings that were not noticed before. The brightness and density patterns seen in the images give us insight into this complex system. This new knowledge helps us understand how planetary rings form and evolve, expanding our understanding of the universe. The telescope has also given us a better view of Neptune's moons and their connection to the planet's rings. Researchers believe these moons played a crucial role in forming the rings. By studying the moons and rings, we can learn more about how this fascinating system came to be. The telescope has also captured pictures of large storms on Neptune, including the famous Great Dark Spot. Strong winds on the planet caused these storms. The images have shown that Neptune's atmosphere has a lot of methane, which gives the planet its blue color. Although Neptune may seem dark in the pictures, except for the methane clouds, these clouds reflect sunlight and appear as bright streaks and spots. The pictures have also revealed a faint glowing band around the planet's equator. 
The images taken by the JWT also feature seven of Neptune's 14 known moons. The most prominent moon is Triton, which is the largest and brightest. Methane is important for Neptune's weather and temperature. Scientists study the relationship between methane and other gases to better understand the planet's weather patterns and temperature conditions. In the case of Pluto, the telescope's discoveries have been truly groundbreaking. Scientists have observed that Pluto's atmosphere is undergoing a peculiar phenomenon. It is gradually disappearing. This has puzzled researchers, as they are not entirely sure about the cause. Scientists have been closely observing Pluto and its thin, predominantly nitrogen-filled hemisphere. Using telescopes in the United States and Mexico to study this event in detail, Pluto's atmosphere contains vapor pressure from the scattered ice on its surface, similar to our own planet. If the ice on Pluto's surface begins to overheat, its atmosphere undergoes an immediate change and becomes denser. This seems to be happening, but with an intriguing twist. Pluto-Sun Relationship Over the past 25 years, Pluto has moved farther away from the Sun, resulting in an extreme decrease in the temperature on the planet. This temperature decrease causes Pluto's environment to freeze, causing its atmosphere to vanish. The gradual decrease in temperature is unlikely to halt soon as Pluto continues to become colder and move even farther away from the Sun. According to Michio Kaku, this occurrence has trapped Pluto in a cycle called thermal inertia, where it retains heat from when it was closer to the Sun, leading to a rise in surface pressure and atmospheric density until 2018. However, now it appears that Pluto's environment is vanishing, which is a stunning revelation that changes our understanding of how dwarf planets operate. As Pluto's atmosphere slowly dissipates, we may wonder how scientists were able to gather all this information by simply observing Pluto as it passed in front of a star. The key lies in an occultation method which has nothing to do with the occult despite the name. An occultation occurs when two cosmic objects cross in front of each other with one object hidden behind the other. Researchers have been using this method since the late 1980s to explore and understand Pluto. Using occultation, scientists observe the rate at which the star passes by Pluto. This fleeting event lasts for only about two minutes. With this information, they can measure the density of Pluto's atmosphere. By studying this data, they gain insights into Pluto's thin, nitrogen-dominated hemisphere and its icy surface. Pluto's atmosphere is held in place by nitrogen, which is kept warm by heat stored beneath the surface. However, as Pluto cools down, this nitrogen starts to lose heat, causing more and more of the atmosphere to freeze and vanish into oblivion. The cooling of Pluto's atmosphere occurs because the residual heat it gathered when it was closer to the sun is gradually dissipating. It's akin to how hot sand on a beach cools down as the day progresses. The discovery of Pluto's mysterious changes and its disappearing atmosphere serves as a testament to the power and significance of observation. It has enabled us to make technological breakthroughs that allow us to delve deeper into the study and understanding of our universe. And there's more. The James Webb Telescope has allowed scientists to peer into Pluto's heart, revealing even more secrets. Although Pluto may be small in size, it certainly compensates with its remarkable and mysterious features. Among them, the heart-shaped region known as the Tombal Regio stands out as an iconic symbol. This captivating area, adorned with carbon monoxide ice, possesses a landform resembling an enchanting ice cream cone. Nestled within the heart-shaped crater is another focal point called the Sputnik Planum, also referred to as the Heart of Pluto. The craters found in this region continue to puzzle scientists, as no definitive causes have been identified. These craters are believed to be relatively young, potentially only around 100 million years old on a geological timescale. However, the Sputnik Planum is yet to reach its permanent shape as ongoing geological processes continually reshape its landscape. Moreover, the mesmerizing dark stripes observed on Pluto's icy surface are believed to be the result of winds gracefully sweeping across the planet. These patterns, reminiscent of Earth's own surface, add to the allure and fascination of Pluto's heart-shaped region. It's captivating to contemplate that even in the icy depths of Pluto's environment, a heart-like structure exists, reminding us of our commonality with this distant celestial body. But there's more to this captivating heart. Scientists have uncovered that Pluto's actions are influenced by its heart, specifically its left ventricle. This colossal nitrogen glacier spans an astonishing area of up to a million square miles, 
Known as the Sputnik Planitia, this heart forces the dwarf planet to reorient itself, aligning with its moon, Charon, on the opposite side. This extraordinary phenomenon, called the true polar wonder, occurs when a planetary body adjusts its spin axis in response to significant geological processes. The current placement of the Sputnik Planitia acts as a frigid trap, causing nitrogen ice to accumulate and form a colossal ice sheet with a thickness of at least 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers. The immense weight of this icy behemoth creates an imbalance that, combined with Charon's gravitational pull, causes Pluto to tilt and align its basin more closely with the tidal axis shared between the two celestial bodies. Pluto's repositioning, influenced by the gravitational pull of its moon Charon, had some fascinating consequences beyond just changing its orientation. The process caused Pluto's surface to crack and massive faults to stretch across large parts of the planet. The result was the creation of a basin, previously located farther from the North Pole to the northwest of its current position. However, despite this shift, Pluto is not completely free from Charon's influence. If ice continues to accumulate in the basin, the dwarf planet will continue to reorient itself. This ongoing process is a unique phenomenon in our solar system, adding to the intriguing nature of Pluto. Another surprising feature of Pluto's frozen surface is the presence of dunes composed of solid methane ice grains sculpted by the wind. Unlike sand dunes on Earth, Pluto's dunes primarily consist of methane ice grains. Interestingly, dunes can also be found on several other planets in our solar system, including Earth, Mars, Venus, and Titan, a moon of Saturn. However, Pluto's dunes stand out as they appear to have remained unchanged for an astonishing period of around 500,000 years. Pluto's distinctive characteristics continue to captivate our imaginations, and they will undoubtedly inspire generations to come. Studying these mysteries can deepen our understanding of the universe and expand our knowledge further. As for how Pluto was formed, recent discoveries challenge previous theories and paint a picture of a hot and violent past for the dwarf planet. Scientists have analyzed the vast amount of photos captured by the New Horizons spacecraft and found evidence suggesting that Pluto may have started out hot instead of cold. This finding contradicts earlier beliefs that an ancient subsurface sea slowly formed over millions of years. Extensional features on Pluto's surface indicate that it likely experienced a short and tumultuous beginning, leading to the formation of an early ocean. Computer models developed by the research team also demonstrated that if Pluto had started cold and the internal ice had melted, there would have been signs of compression fractures on its surface. However, the evidence points to a fiery origin for the dwarf planet, making its past even more fascinating and explosive than we had ever imagined. Pluto, once considered a cold and inactive world, has astounded scientists with its dynamic nature. Recent discoveries suggest that this dwarf planet may have had a fiery beginning, surprising everyone. It turns out that Pluto might have had a subsurface ocean formed through a short and violent process. To understand how Pluto became so hot, scientists meticulously examined data from the New Horizon spacecraft, which provided valuable insights into its origins. The peculiar surface features of Pluto, such as sculpted valleys and mountains, held clues about its formation. By using computer modeling, the team identified extensional features that indicated a rapid and tumultuous start, possibly leading to the creation of an early ocean. Now, the question arises, what caused Pluto to heat up in the first place? There are two plausible explanations. One is the energy generated from radioactive decay, and the other is impact heating caused by intense collisions. Through calculations, scientists determined that impact heating was the more likely scenario. If Pluto's formation had taken too long, the heat from radioactive decay would have dissipated into space. Therefore, it seems that Pluto's formation was a quick affair, spanning just about 30,000 years in the vast timeline of the universe. Pluto is a captivating dwarf planet brimming with unique features. One of its most striking attributes is the presence of actively flowing glaciers made of nitrogen ice. These glaciers, unlike Earth's water ice glaciers, behave differently. When they melt, the liquid nitrogen rises to the top since it is denser than solid nitrogen. This phenomenon creates the possibility of erupting jets or geysers. Water ice, which is less dense than nitrogen ice, dominates Pluto's surface. As the glaciers move across the planet's surface, chunks of water ice rise up and float like icebergs. 
Among these glaciers, the largest known one is Sputnik Planitia, stretching for over 620,000 miles, roughly the combined size of Oklahoma and Texas. Lastly, when observing photos of Pluto, one can't help but notice a network of peculiar polygonal shapes on its icy surface. These cells, spanning at least six miles in diameter, are evidence of Pluto's internal heat trying to escape from beneath the glaciers. It creates a mesmerizing sight akin to a hot lava lamp. Warm ice rises into the center of these cells, while cold ice sinks along their edges. This unique phenomenon is unlike anything found in Earth's glaciers or anywhere else in the solar system. Life on Pluto Life on Pluto seems highly unlikely due to its extremely hostile climate. The planet experiences extremely low temperatures that prevent the existence of any liquid, including water. Many gases and chemicals, such as nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide have been frozen on Pluto's surface for years. Pluto's air pressure is significantly lower than Earth's, making it challenging for life to survive under such extreme conditions. However, there is a possibility that life could exist inside the planet in certain areas where conditions might be more favorable. Although researchers have not yet discovered what type of life could potentially thrive on Pluto, they speculate that beings may inhabit the planet in the future. Pluto's internal structure consists of a rocky core surrounded by a thick layer of ice believed to be between 100 and 180 kilometers thick. Scientists anticipate that as radioactive elements decay over time, the ice layer will gradually warm up, separating it from the rocky core and potentially creating a liquid water river inside Pluto. Pluto's surface is too cold and its atmosphere is unsuitable for life. However, researchers theorize that these circumstances could change over time, leading to the possibility of supporting life on Pluto. But, if life were to evolve on Pluto, it would have significant implications for Earth. Unfortunately, this isn't the worst part. Pluto is currently located beyond our solar system's habitable zone. However, as the sun ages, it will increase in size and turn into a red giant, consuming everything in its path. The habitable zone will shift outward as the sun grows larger, eventually engulfing the inner planets, including Earth. This cosmic transformation will cause Earth to become hotter than Venus is today. The sun's expansion will continue for another half a billion years, becoming more than 200 times larger than its current size. As a result, Pluto and other celestial bodies will experience a significant increase in temperature. The sun's dramatic performance in this cosmic dance of life and death affects everything in its vicinity. While life on Pluto may not evolve naturally, if we were to transport life to the dwarf planet in an interstellar fashion, it would require a grand endeavor. However, this would only be a temporary solution, as the sun's evolution would eventually render Pluto and other worlds within its reach inhospitable. Earth and Pluto may not be all that different. You might think Earth and Pluto are completely different, but they share a surprising similarity. Both boast stunning blue skies. When we gaze at NASA images of Pluto's surface, it appears reddish-brown. However, its atmosphere holds a hidden secret, a mysterious murky blue color. The incredible data the groundbreaking Skyline shuttle collected during its flyby mission made this intriguing revelation possible. Now, you must be wondering, what creates this captivating blue hue in Pluto's sky? Well, it's all thanks to a particular molecule called tholine. Even though the name might sound odd, these tiny particles are formed when sunlight triggers remarkable chemical reactions between nitrogen and methane in Pluto's atmosphere. Back here on Earth, our blue sky is produced by the scattering of sunlight by minuscule nitrogen molecules. However, on Pluto, things take a twist. The particles responsible for the blue tint are relatively larger and are delightfully referred to as folates. Despite their likely gray or red appearance, these folates possess the astounding ability to scatter blue light, making them more visible to our eyes. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.